nine days away from the start of the Ohio State football season and the beginning of the JT Barrett era. As the redshirt freshman is set to start at quarterback against Navy next Saturday in Baltimore, following Braxton Miller's season-ending shoulder injury. Barrett was a highly sought-after recruit coming out of Texas in 2013 and came to Columbus in January that year, so he's been through two full spring practices. But with Miller sitting out this past spring and limited in the fall, Barrett got plenty of reps. In fact, yesterday, Urban Meyer said JT has had 300 competitive throws against the number one defense, while Kenny Guyton just had six when he had to take over for Miller. Now, before the most recent shoulder injury, Barrett had already passed Cardell Jones on the Buckeyes' depth chart. Quarterbacks coach Tom Herman tells us the difference between Barrett and Jones. The offense moves better when he's in there, and uh, you know we, you can throw all the completion percentages. He's probably completing more balls and making more of the right reads and more of the right reads in the run game. But at the end of the day, the offense moves when he's in, and sometimes it it doesn't as much. Not that Cardell's doing a bad job, but the offense moves more frequently when JT's the quarterback, and that's the sign of a good one. One of the things about JT Barrett is last year when we came as a true freshman, uh, I don't think a lot of guys noticed, he was a part of the leadership committee as a true freshman. And he was the third, fourth, fourth quarterback on the depth chart. Uh, a lot of people don't know that because he just has those leadership qualities. And uh, it's showing on the field. He's a very mature quarterback, you know. He hasn't had a lot of game reps, but, you know, Coach said you get your game reps at practice. So he's coming out. He has a lot of, he has a, he has a lot of good things that, you know, that will be showcased first game. JT is a really smart, precise guy. You know, he, he really pays attention to detail. You can tell by the way he's been playing. And uh, I'm, I have a lot of confidence in him. He's been playing very well. The kids are frothing at it. And these kids are very uh, kind of guitinish. You know, he's a very calm, cool, collect guy. He has very good leadership skills. And that's a term we use around here now, guitinish. 